Next question is from More Life Jojo. It recently seems that a common message in the online fitness space is that we aren't meant to be lean all year long and that wanting to maintain a lean body is bad for our health. What are your thoughts on this type of message? I think this is a message that we've been saying for almost six years now, and yeah. it's finally getting out to the rest of the yeah. space. Yeah, and, and it depends what you mean by lean. So uh, do I think a man uh, who's, let's say, 13%, 14% body fat can is going to maintain that all year long and be healthy? Absolutely. Even 10. Yeah. 10 is harder. Some people can maintain. Depends for, on who you're talking yeah. about. But ten, even 10 to 14, I think, is very realistic. Yes, yeah, so I people. would say that's a good range, right? Yeah. And it depends on the person. But, uh, you know, why is it? Why is it unhealthy to maintain very lean all the time? If you've ever gotten down to single-digit body fat as a man or if you've ever gotten down to, let's say, below 17% as a woman, it, it, your lifestyle is very much dedicated to maintaining that leanness. It's not a healthy lifestyle and mentally or psychologically. It just isn't. You're constantly looking at things. You can't, you can't overeat this. You can't do that. You're thinking about food. I got to make sure I get this many grams of protein. My carbs can't be over this or my fat can't be over that. I have to work out like this all the time. It's just not a healthy, it's a very obsessive way of living. That's just not healthy mm -hmm. for most people. And then, especially for women, body fat is essential for health. And women who maintain you know, these, these low teen body fat percentages all the time, they're, they're, you, rarely do they have a period. The hormones tend to be off. Many of them try to control the symptoms with hormone therapy. Um, so no, it's 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 a now it, when you go on Instagram, you look at the pictures. You know, it looks cool, right? Mm -hmm. the, the shredded muscles, whatever. But it's not. That's not something to strive for all the time. I think doing it every once in a while, especially if you have a healthy mind, you want to see what it takes. Absolutely fine. Maintaining that probably not healthy. Well, I think that the, you re refer to Instagram. I think that. 80% of those bodies that you see on Instagram is bullshit. Yeah. If they're not being photoshopped, then they are they were shot at a period of time, and then Instagram people drip that mm -hmm. over over the course of a year. So a lot of it's a facade. A lot of them pretend mm -hmm. like they look that, that way, and they don't really look that way. And then the ones that do, the ones that walk around at 6 to 7% body fat year-round, you don't know the rest of their life. How many people are suffering? I mean, I know, I know how much Katrina suffered for me, for me to compete. I saw that. And I, I remember that was a constant conversation with her that I'm not going to make you do this forever. I promise. I promise. Like, we're, there's a goal in mind. We're going to reach that goal. And then I'm done with mm -hmm. this lifestyle. As cool as looking that ripped was, as cool as competing was, I, I would never put that on my partner ever yeah. again. And I've been in a relationship where I had somebody who was competing and I was the other person. Like, it sucks. You know, you know how lame it is that we have to like map out everything that we're doing all day long to make sure that he or she gets their meals all day just timed right, or we can't go to this restaurant because they don't offer an option for this, or oh, I can't have popcorn at the movie theater, or oh, I can't bring this home because then that makes her want to have it too. Like, just that that lifestyle. There's a lot to that, and that's why too you see a lot of these fitness fanatics, they end up marrying or dating another fanatic so they can be neurotic. They have to. They can, yes, they can be yeah. neurotic together, not realizing how much of life that they're really missing yeah, out on. It's just on. another form of uh, an extreme, you know, and and that's just the thing. When you want to live in the extreme, it, you're going to have to make compromises and uh, you know, other other parts and other facets of of your lifestyle are going to get affected, and so it's like if that's what you really want and you desire uh, constantly, you know, you're going to be battling some things along the way, and that's the thing is it's you know in terms of like being super shredded and lean all the time, like it's it, your body's going to be fighting you that whole time. It is, and your hormones suffer. Men's testosterone levels will drop. Women's estrogen, progesterone levels kind of go out of whack. I'll tell you what, like here's the truth in the real life. If you're a if you're a man and you're a strong, thirteen percent, fourteen percent body fat, uh, most women will consider you physically attractive. If you're a woman and you're a strong, you know, twenty to you know twenty four percent body fat, but you, you're strong, you obviously lift weights because the muscle gives you shape. You look attractive, uh, physically attractive. You look good. You look healthy. Isn't that ironic, though, Isn't that, that, funny? that we chase these ridiculous like things, but the opposite sex that we're trying to attract or the same sex possibly are not even attracted to that? Right. It's yeah. almost like it's we're competing with our peers. That's totally. the only people that we're really trying to impress. Like If you're a ripped-ass dude, you know who thinks it's really cool? Other the other, the other the dudes. Other dudes. Yeah. The other dudes that are yeah. trying to get ripped. Yeah. Like you like you said, there's. I mean, they've done, they've done plenty of research around yeah. this. Most people want somebody in that kind of body fat range because you look normal and healthy and you look fun to be with. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You look like a you good look time. Balanced. And yeah. I, I remember going to uh, a, the first time I ever went to a, a show, I had my, my 
at the time my business partner was competing in bodybuilding. And so, you know, when they did the show, they also have, you know, bikini and figure and, you know, physique and all that stuff. And I remember seeing the girls that were competing in the bikini and, you know, when I would go backstage cause I was helping them out. So I was allowed backstage and I'd see these girls getting prepared and their faces. Yeah. They looked dead. Just they were sunken in eyes, gaunt and, and, oh, and acne, obviously yeah. because the hormones were all off. And and you know, and this is supposed to be like the best way that they look. And it's like if I saw if if I saw that person in real life, I would think, you know, uh, you know, I, I would maybe think, wow, if this person gained fifteen pounds, they would look really well, good. Well, that's right the now. thing too. It's like it, it's not just the abs. Everybody wants these like ridiculously popping shredded abs. Like you have to lose body fat all over your body. Yeah, and so you know, you get that. You'll get the. The bony sticking out, you know, points that you that are unfavorable just to to maintain this lean ab look. Now that to be, you know, it's also important to note that what isn't healthy either is to get lean every once in a while and then blow way up and yeah, then come back down too extreme, yeah. right? So I, I don't I don't want us to, or I don't want to come off like we are advocating for people to be, you know, oh okay, well the guys say I shouldn't be lean that often, so I'm going to blow up, and that's what we see a lot. You see one extreme or the other. You just no, see no. the neurotic person who tries to stay six percent year round. Or you see the average person who yo-yos hard. They swing yeah. high up. They could put on a bunch of weight, and then they push. And really nothing hard wrong going for a goal of trying to make that happen, and you know, and like get to a peak, like yeah. a, like you're, like you're peaking, just like anything else with sports. Even for me, it was like we went through an off season that led into an, an extreme, you know, competition at the end of that uh, that I was preparing for. But then I, you know, came right back into like a normalized type of a training situation.